I just decided, although at home we always have it really traditional. Is it traditional? It is because really traditional. I can't imagine you doing anything traditional. It is at home, but here. Do I you just hoy a big handful of pomegranate over no, the last no, no, minute? No, no, no pomegranate. Like sometimes on the Brussels sprouts, but that's as far as it goes. <laughs> it's completely different. It's almost like we're in Australia, so it's a lot of Asian flavors and a shoulder of lamb. Just to say, you know, chili and garlic, tons in almost in everything here, actually. It's been marinating with black garlic, Sichuan pepper, cumin, the really unctuous, a bit of brown sugar. And it just sits there for 24 hours, absorbing, playing, having fun with all those flavors. <laughs> and then it goes into the oven. The aubergines are dressed with all those uh, cooking juices, but they've been steamed first. Steamed aubergines? Yes, yeah, steamed aubergines. You see, how do you make them look like that? Very common in Chinese cooking. With very little time and the help of steam and no oil, you do get the texture that you want. How long does this take there? About five hours. But you've been marinating it for... 24. I mean, you know it by that point. It feels like... <laughs> you feel quite rude to eat it. How do you get this bit on the end? How do you get this bit on the top? So when this... it's like so kind of... Because I don't understand how it's soft and mushy and lovely and delicious, but then it's also kind of beautifully browned. How do you do it's that? It's the beauty of caramelization. So essentially it's slow cooked, but because there's some sugar and soy in the marinade, once you remove the foil and expose it to the to the oven, it does become all co beautifully coloured and kind of slightly grilled. If you know how Even to blow torch that. I didn't blow torch it, I promise you. I didn't you promise blow, me. Yeah, I promise you I didn't blow torch. torch anything. It's just the waiting, but I think anyone would wait five, five hours for the lamb at Christmas, right? I mean, it's not too much to ask. I think everybody has to wait for lunch at my house because I generally start drinking quite early. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> So is this your nod towards roast potatoes? So that's my, <laughs> my nod towards roast potatoes. It's a gratin, which has got chili, garlic, ginger. It's slow cooked with stock, and then it gets some aromatic fried on top. So the fried aromatics are, are coriander and spring onion and chili. And the last one is these are our smacked cucumbers. Just to add freshness, coriander, chili, garlic, ginger. So it's, it's uplifting. I mean, I think of Christmas food often as kind of quite like one dimensional and slightly bland <gasps> by definition, sorry. But this is just kind of rocks no, the boat a little bit, you know, yeah. like who doesn't like a bit of chili, garlic and ginger? I mean, it's just so good and lime. I'm sort of disappointed at the lack of pomegranate seeds here because I just thought that you always had handfuls of them in your pocket. And you're just kind of I hurling them like a whirling dervish all the time. I love pomegranates, but you see them everywhere. So. On our Christmas table, it's going to be really only um, over the Brussels sprouts because they really need that. You put pomegranate on ro Brussels? roasted Brussels sprouts yeah. with pomegranate seeds. It's really good. You're probably thinking that I'm being quite rude because I haven't cooked today. But Darling. did you cook something? I did. I, I cooked something. I cooked um, a traditional uh, northern recipe. So what I'm going to bring you is a little bit of Carlisle. Mm. Ching, 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 oh, ching, 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 ching. This is, oh. it's a cheese and pineapple porcupine. And what, when you, say, when you see, when you see this, of the you top, know. Co top quality pineapple, <laughs> top quality cheese, right? <laughs> it's absolutely everything that you can get in a small supermarket at about four o'clock on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> but can you not see how it would add a party? So that like it would start a party. It would, yeah, or end a party in, in my world. <laughs> Here, have one. See, I think that what you're... I'm going to go for maybe the blue what, cheese now, with the blue cheese. You don't want the blue cheese. You want this. I really you have want to have this the one with the cranberry. That's cranberry in Wensleydale. There you go. It's, it's like, big as well. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, it's, it's, it's good. <laughs> I'm enjoying it.